Welcome Scorpio. This message is for you. This will be your reading for the second half of November. And I'm actually filming this on 1111, which are angel numbers. If you're not sure what these numbers mean, make sure to look them up and do your research. They're very angelic numbers. This may be a time when you're getting a lot of downloads. Your angels and guides are speaking to you. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition for messages. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it. What messages do we have for Scorpio for the last week of November? Okay, we have connect with Gaia, connect with God. We have prosperity and abundance. And we have accept love. Okay, Scorpio. Wow, okay. And you have at the bottom, speak your mind. So this may be a time when you're speaking your mind in a situation, Scorpio. Okay, let's get some more messages for Scorpio. Okay, we have exposed and revealed. We have body and soul. At the bottom we have the royal you. Yes, you are a queen or a king. You are royalty, Scorpio. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, let's take a look at what your angels have to say. What advice does your angels want to speak to you at the moment, Scorpio? Angels, please give Scorpio some advice. What's going on with Scorpio for the second half of November, please? Okay, we have Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Okay, that's actually come out several times. And you have Rosetta. You have the gift for working with young people. And your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, and parenting children. Okay, so you could be a parent or a teacher. At the very bottom you have, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Okay, Scorpio, let's get into it. What does Tarot have to say? Let's get some messages, messages from Tarot. Let's see what Tarot has to say about this. We have the Eight of Pentacles. What's going on for you the second half of November? We have the Chariot. So I feel like you'll be, you may be traveling. Maybe you'll be traveling for work. We have the Four of Cups. We have the strength card and the five of swords. We 
we have the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, Scorpio. At the bottom, you have the Four of Swords. So, yeah, and I do feel like this is a time you should take to yourself. Find a little alone time. Somewhere where you can rest and rejuvenate. Somewhere where you can... Kind of get your thoughts together. I feel like I feel like in this situation you should set your boundaries. Set your boundaries, Scorpio. And be persistent with your boundaries. I feel like you... are caught up in your head a lot. Maybe you're caught up in your head about money that you're spending. Maybe you are... Feeling a lot of indecision about a choice that you need to make that involves your finances. If this resonates with you, I feel like you should use your intuition. I feel like you very well could be moving on. You very well could be physically moving or traveling at this time. While you're traveling, you need to trust yourself. I, th I think that... This is a little odd, but I, I feel like you feel like you're lost. Are you going to be traveling and you're not quite sure where you're going? What road you need to travel? With this Six of Swords, I definitely feel like you're moving into maybe a better place. And you're, you're done with all the drama or confusion that you're feeling. I'm, I'm feeling really overwhelmed with thought. So I, I do feel like maybe you are deep in your head about a situation. And it could be about this king, this this knight of pentacles. It could be about this knight of pentacles. I feel like you've put a lot of hard work into something. You've had a lot of patience. You thought maybe a person was reliable, but you are
you're feeling like they're not. I feel like you found out that they're not. I, th I feel like you found out that they aren't reliable as you thought. I feel like this person may have money and you thought that they were going to help you. But it just didn't work out the way that you planned it. Does that make sense? Let's get a little bit of clarity here, Libra. Because this, yeah, this, I'm not sure where this is going. With this Nine of Wands and this Eight of Pentacles. What I want to feel like saying is that you're mastering their defeat. Why do I feel like that? You're mastering their defeat. Hmm. You have the Page of Pentacles. I mean, Page of Wands. Why did I say Page of Pentacles? If you're going somewhere because of work, I feel like you are receiving a communication. That's communication coming in. What communication are they receiving? Ten of Wands. You're feeling exhausted over this situation. This could be a love situation. You have the strength card, the lovers, and the knight of pentacles. So, yeah, th this may be love here. Um, it may feel like you're carrying a load. You're carrying a lot of burdens. You are, you're totally exhausted and stressed out. You're at your wit's end. Now you need to have courage. And patience. Courage and patience for your hard work. What is this Four of Cups and Knight of Pentacles? You have the Knight of Pentacles twice. So I feel like whatever this situation is, I feel like you put a lot of hard work and patience into it. I feel, but I'm really feeling like you relied on somebody that you found that didn't come through. Yeah, the King of Wands. Now, the, the King of Wands, he's bold and powerful, charming, but he's not always reliable.
the King of Wands, he's led by passion. He's led by lust. Swords. You have the the cherry and the strength. So I'm feeling like you're you're making a you're going through a change. You're progressing through your feelings. You're you're making a progression a progression. You're making progress. You're making progress. That's what Spirit is trying to say. You're making progress. Yeah. You're being persistent. You're close to your victory. You're close to your victory. You are close to moving on. You're close to your happiness. Something that you felt was dead, done, and over with isn't dead and done. No, it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. What is this high priestess? The two of wands. So I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for. You were feeling like it was done and over with. I don't know if this is a relationship or some kind of issue that you've been going through. It could also be work. There's a lot of wands here. This could also be work. But I feel like whatever this is, this is turning into a new pro progression. It's progressing into a new beginning that's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness. You are close to the finish line. You're so close. You're so close to the finish line. You're moving into it. You're moving on to to happiness. You're definitely moving on to happiness. And you're moving. What you feel like was a ending is a new beginning. It's a new beginning that you've been waiting for. You also have the Empress. So whatever this is, this is something that you've created. This is something that you've created. Yeah, you have the High Priestess again. Trust yourself. Trust yourself, Scorpio. Trust in the efforts that you put in, the fruits of your labor. I feel like whatever this is, it was something that didn't come easy. You worked very hard for it. And you felt like it wasn't going to come. After a time of waiting now, now you actually see the, 
the progression of your effort. Does that make sense? The progression of your effort. Whatever this is, it's something that you've been waiting for. Let's get some more messages for Scorpio, please. Service. I feel good when I can help others. And you have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Yeah, we can't get what we want without failing a few times. There's there's no way around it. So if if you felt like something failed in the past, I feel like you've learned from whatever it is that has failed. And relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay. If this is a relationship, this is a new relationship. This is... Or this is something that you put a lot of work into and you thought was over. But it's not over yet. It's not over. This is a new beginning. This is a new chance to renew and revitalize what it is that you feel like you lost let's get some words from the universe to end up this reading hope is a conduit for miracles yeah you hope for this now your miracle is happening it could be in your relationship it could be in um, something that you've worked very hard for oh. my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing conflict into growth and fear into love you know, whatever, whatever you've been dealing with Scorpio, you're healing. You're moving towards whatever it is that you're trying to to bring about. And at the bottom you have, thank you universe for helping me to see beyond the limits of my fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of my highest good. Wow. Okay. Scorpio. I'm going to leave it here. This is your reading. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising for other messages. They may resonate more than this. And, um... Many blessings to you, Scorpio. Love and light.